Y'all, I have found the answer to curing your dry, flaky scalp. And it's simple. Hey loves, my name is Latoya Ebony. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, subscribe. I do a lot of natural hair care videos specifically geared towards 4C hair. Okay, so dry scalp dandruff versus seborrheic dermatitis, what's the difference? I'm gonna simplify it for you. I'm in a good mood today. Dry scalp is literally just that. It's dry, it's flaky, it's falling off, it may be inflamed because you've been scratching it, right? But dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis is actually conditioned from overproduction of your oil glands, your sebaceous glands in your scalp. So you're gonna notice that those flakes are a lot more oily. Now with seborrheic dermatitis, the flakes are gonna be a lot larger and they're gonna kinda come up in sheets. And that's what I had around this area, right? And dandruff, dandruff are usually it's usually smaller, um, smaller pieces, and it's very similar to dry scalp, except for it's oily. That was in the center of my mane, I don't know, on my scalp, okay? First of all, imagine being a YouTuber who mainly talks about natural hair care, and I'm doing all these hair tutorials, but my scalp is messed up. So imagine the setback and also the personal embarrassment of going to work with a nice updo with all of these parts, but having to worry about flakes on your shoulders like, and you're trying to do, you know, that, that subtle brush so that nobody knows what you're doing. Yes, that was me. So what's the product, girl? All right, recommended by a subscriber, Nizerol. This is non-prescription strength, so you can get this at Amazon, Amazon Prime, you can probably find it at Target, Walmart, all of that. I will put a link down below, but what makes this work? The active ingredient is ketoconazole. Ketoconazole. Keto, ketoconazole. Zoil? Zol. Ketoconazole. <laughs> there is 1% of ketoconazole in this, and it is an anti-dandruff shampoo. So yes, I was suffering from dandruff, but it also has done an excellent job of clearing up my seborrheic dermatitis as well. I apply this directly to my scalp and I use it like a shampoo on my scalp. I try not to put too much of it on my hair because it is drying. This does dry out your hair, so you definitely want to make sure that you follow up with a conditioner. But this is the truth. Use it aggressively in the beginning, and then you can slowly taper it out so that you are using this in between your regular shampoos as needed. Seriously, do yourself a favor and buy this Today, if you are sick and tired of your scalp being like this and ducking and hiding from coworkers and your friends and your family and trying to pretend like everything is cool when it's not, you need to get this. It's relatively cheap, it's under $20. I think this was $15. And if you have Amazon Prime like I do, click that link and just do yourself a favor and just get it. Um, this is not sponsored by the way, I spent my own coin and I will continue to spend my coin because it's that good. And I'm so surprised it's cheap. The next step after your shampoo is detangling and adding moisture. So I have a video I will link right here on how I detangle my 4C hair with using my fingers, only my fingers. Yes, it is possible, you guys. I've done it. So check that video out. Love you. Mwah.